Sony, Sony, Sony. For every one good step you seem to make, you seem to make two, three fucked up steps going left, right, up, down, backwards, every direction but the direction you should be going in, and that is forward. But in this case, you've made one real fucked up big mistake. Let's talk about it. Welcome to Jay's Gamepad everybody and all my fellow G's and gamers out there, welcome back. Do you know what? Let's just get into the fuckeries because this is some bullshit man. This is some fuckeries. PlayStation 5 price increase confirmed for the UK, Europe, Japan, Canada and more. But not in the USA. What? Do you know what? Yeah, let's just get into the article man. Let's just get into the fucking article. Sony has announced it's increasing the price of the PlayStation 5 console in territories like Europe, the United Kingdom, Japan, China and Canada. Jim Ryan takes to the PlayStation blog to say this is due to quote, quote, high global inflation rates as well as adverse currency trends impacting consumers and creating pressure on many industries. Based on these challenging economic conditions, SIE has made the difficult decision to increase the recommended retail price. End of quotes. But the USA is not affected by the price increase at all. They're not affected at all. What one? What the fuck is this shit? Nah, nah. And you know what? You're like, let's see how much they're trying to increase this bullshit. Yeah. Like, let's go to Europe now. To buy a PlayStation 5 in Europe, it used to be 500 euros. Now it's 550 euros. A 50 euro increase. What? Do you know what? Yeah, I'm not even going to talk about the digital version. Allow it. Let's just go to the UK. You used to be able to get a PlayStation 5 for 450 if you could get your hands on one. If you could get your hands on one. Magically, somehow, some way. Now it's £480. I'm not messing around with this 99p, 99 cents, 99 euro bullshit. It's 480. It's 480. £30 pound increase. What? And again, I'm not even going to talk about the digital version. Allow it. And why is it that Japan, Japan, in Japan, is going into effect on the 15th of September? But everywhere else is effective immediately. What kind of bullshit is this? Nah, 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 nah. Do you know what? Yeah, like let's just get into the article, man. Like let's get knee deep into this article. This is because this is some fuckeries. This is some real fuckeries. Sony, you're fucking up. You're really fucking up. While the price increase is a necessity given the current global economic environment and its impact on SIE business, our top priority continues to be improving the PlayStation 5 supply situation so that as many players as possible can experience everything that the PlayStation 5 offers and what's still to come. End of quote. Jim Ryan adds, as currently as the 30th of July 2022, Sony avoided questions related to the PlayStation 5 increase. Why am I not surprised? Why am I not surprised? Dodging bullets up in there like the Matrix and shit. What the fuck is this, man? This is some bullshit. Hiroki Toki said, forgive me for butchering the name, quote, about a potential price increase for the PlayStation 5. At this point in time, there is nothing specific I can share with you about prices. About prices, are you fucking kidding me? End of quote. It had been thought the supply of the PlayStation 5 stock was improving over the past handful of months, but clearly not enough where Sony feels comfortable with the money it's making of its hardware sales. This is some fucking bullshit. This is some bullshit. And I'm going to say this. Sony, you are fucking up. For every one good positive step you make, you seem to make two, three fucked up steps going backwards. I don't understand it. Wagwan. I don't see Xbox coming out announcing price increases. Why are you doing it? Now, some people might argue, okay, well, Xbox, they've got Microsoft money, so they can afford to take a mad hit. They're taking a mad hit with Game Pass. We all know that, you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. But Sony, you are really, really fucking out. You are really fucking up and there's going to be some real, real repercussions with this increase. And the fact that America, 
The USA is not getting the price increase. They're taking the fucking piss. Why is that? Nah, do you know what? Yeah, it's a violation. And do you know what? I've got four questions. Four fucking questions. Question number one. Why is the US the only country not affected by the increase or inflation? Are you trying to tell, was it, are you trying to tell me that America is, was it, is immune to inflation? Are you trying to tell me that America is immune to fucking recession? Are you trying to tell me that America was the only country that wasn't hit hard by the pandemic? What's going on? This is some bullshit. This is some fuckery. Now, I believe, I, I believe that the reason why America is not affected or they're saying America is not affected is because Sony's HQ headquarters is in the United States. It used to be in Japan, but now it's in America. And I think that's the real reason that they ain't getting the price hike. Everywhere else is. But America isn't. Even Canada's getting an increase. But somehow America's not getting an increase. And Canada's their next door neighbours. And I'm meant to believe what? That America's not affected. Some bullshit. Some bullshit. Question number two. Why is Japan the only country getting a price increase on the 15th of September when every other territory, every other region immediate effectively? What kind of fuckery is that? Now, I also believe the reason why that is coming a little bit later for the Japanese is because the HQ used to be in Japan. And regardless of what you might think or feel about the situation or how I might think or feel about the situation, facts are facts. Sony, PlayStation, is a Japanese company originally established in Japan, now their HQ's in America. That's the reason why I believe that the day, you know what I mean, like it isn't immediate effectively with Japan. Everywhere else, eff immediate effectively. Some fucking bullshit. Now there's two more points that I wanna talk about that no one's really mentioning or even talking about in regard to the price increase of the PlayStation 5. PlayStation just announced just announced the DualSense Edge Pro Pad. I did a video on it saying that I think the Pro Pad is going to be between £100 to £150. I can't see it being any more. Like, if it's any more than that, you're going to have an issue with a lot of consumers, gamers, players. You're going to have a lot of issues with it. With this increase, because regardless of what you might think or feel about the situation, it's hardware. If they're increasing the hardware, for the PlayStation 5, you best believe that they're increasing the prices of the normal DualSense controllers, the accessories and everything else. It's going to happen. And if that's the case, how much do you think this DualSense Edge Pro controller is going to be? You think it's going to be, what, 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 £100, £100, $150? You need to ask yourself these hard questions, like I'm asking right now. Because the price increase, they, they clearly said hardware. Last time I checked, it's an accessory, but it's a hardware. Think about that. Think about that. Yeah, exactly. Think about that. Now, my last question. They've been talking about PlayStation VR 2. PlayStation VR 2. Games gone into production and everything like that. I asked the same question. How much do you think the PlayStation VR 2 is going to be? Again, that's hardware. Very, very expensive hardware. We've looked at the specs. We, I mean, like we know the levels. We know the components that's in this hardware. How much do you really think it's gonna be? Do you think it's gonna be affordable so everybody around the world will be able to afford it? Because right now, with the inflation, which I've been talking about, and I believe that we're gonna get a mad recession because of the pandemic, people are struggling to even be able to afford a PlayStation 5. Because I'm seeing loads of second-hand ones in CEX because it's expensive. The games are expensive. There's, I mean, there's not a lot of games that are solely made, built for the PlayStation 5 right now. There's a few. You've got back with compatibility. <laughs> That's something. But clearly it's not holding a lot of these people, these gamers that went out and bought it for £450 over here in the UK. They're all selling it to the point where CEX think or feel comfortable enough to try and sell it for £800, £700 when it first came out. Now it's dropped in price, but best believe it's going back in price again. Second hand, machine. So how much do you think did that this PlayStation VR headset is really going to be? Is it going to be affordable? Are they going to be able to get the, all the components to build it? They're taking the piss. They're taking the piss. And I'm going to say this, yeah? I'm, I'm also going to say this. A lot of people might not be aware of this, but just like how you got the issue with Russia and Ukraine and the issue with China and Taiwan, which is the reason why, part of the reason why that like Sony and a lot of big companies around the world 
that do hardware like TVs and stuff like that, like electronics, are struggling getting their components, getting their TVs, getting these, was it getting the PCs, the consoles, the chips made? They're having big issues with it because of what's happening with China and Taiwan. And again, you might not know this, but they're actually building a mega factory in America and over here in Europe. And it takes five years and we're two years in. So trying to get hold of a PlayStation 5 or maybe a, a DualSense Edge Pro controller or a PlayStation VR 2 headset when they come out, trying to get your hands on one of them, it's going to be like trying to get your hands on a rare item. This is crazy. This is crazy. And they think it's okay to, to raise the prices. But America, what, they're just immune to like inflation <laughs> and recession and, and, and COVID and taxes. Oh, come on, man. This, like, this is some bullshit. This is some real bullshit. I would make the same argument if they just did it across the board. And even in America, I would still say this is some fuckeries. But the fact that they are highlighting that America is not going to be getting the price increase come on man firstly that was it that ain't even fair and they haven't even and they haven't even given a reason a good reason why i just gave you my opinion of the reason why i think they're not getting a price increase but that's just speculation that's just my opinion that's just hearsay this is some bullshit this is some real bullshit and i'm gonna finish off by saying this i remember when the playstation 4 came out i remember when the xbox one came out as well I remember the fuckeries that Xbox tried to like do, try to come out and say, uh, I was it our consoles for, you know, media, 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 like gaming wasn't, I mean, like gaming wasn't even a thing, like gaming wasn't their first priority, like it wasn't a games console and their ridiculous price, prices and stipulation talking about that you have to have to connect with it. It turned a lot of people off and we saw the gaming industry turn around and turn, they turned around and said no and go and fuck yourself. That's what they said. Sony in their wise, smart wisdom, the intelligence that they had, they decided to price the PS4 console £50 cheaper. And they came out and said no DRM, none of this media bullshit. This is the first a game console, we're focusing on games, games, games. And they took advantage of that and it took a hot minute for xbox to recover and really and truly i don't even know they've even really recovered but right now xbox is looking real attractive because i'm not hearing microsoft come out talking about price increases due to inflation and due to all the bullshit that sony and jim ryan and them mans are trying to come out and and give excuses for i was i don't see them doing it they have a superior service their games might be 60, 70 pounds, 70 pounds, whatever it is. But you've got Xbox Game Pass. That that negates that. That surface is a really good surface. And they're taking a hit. I don't care what anybody says. They're taking a hit, but they can afford to do that. But the point I'm trying to make, Xbox, Xbox Series X is looking real sexy right now. Real attractive. PlayStation, Sony, they're on some fuckeries. Don't be surprised, Sony. Don't be surprised, Jim Ryan. Don't be surprised, PlayStation, if a lot of casual gamers that flopped and leaned over to PlayStation to follow the trend are now looking at this and thinking, number one, I can't even get hold of a PlayStation 4. I'm oh, sorry, a PlayStation 5. This is some fuckeries. And number two, you want increase. The, was it like the price of the console? Number three, the games are 70 pounds upwards regardless if you know what i mean regardless if it was it like was it if you agree with the price increase of the game but the point is it's 70 pound and in terms of gaming and production and quality of game nothing's fucking changed the game performed the way it performed because the machine was it because the play, playstation 5 the machine is built to do what it's doing don't be surprised if these casual gamers these in-between gamers decide to go flock over to xbox don't be surprised sony don't be surprised PlayStation, don't be surprised. Jim Ryan, don't be surprised because this is some fuckeries. I'm sorry, but PlayStation, Sony, Jim Ryan, I'm going to say it one more time. For every one good step that you seem to make, you made two good steps recently. With PlayStation VR 2, the DualSense Edge Pro Controller, and you just fucked it up with this price increase. 
Let me know what you think about this article, this news, this information, your thoughts, feelings, and opinions in the comments down below. Please let me know if you think I'm over exaggerating. Please let me know if you think that I was, if I have valid points. Please let me know if you're happy or if you're not happy about this situation. Please let me know, regardless if you have a PlayStation 5 or even if you don't. Let me know in the comment down below. Because I was it, because I strongly believe that as gamers, we should band together. We should band together like we did. Like was it like we did with Xbox and their bullshit? We should band together and say no and go and fuck yourself, Sony, PlayStation, Jim Ryan, go and fuck yourself. That's what I think that we should be doing. And I hope it happens. I really do. Because I'm all because my first thoughts, and I mean, was it my first thoughts is always gonna be for the gamers. And this isn't was it as far as I'm concerned this isn't for gamers this is some bullshit as far as I'm concerned this is some fucking bullshit forgive me you know I mean for cursing and swearing a lot in this video but you know I'm passionate about this as you can clearly see so that's that anyway I hope you enjoyed this video in some shape or form if you did please like subscribe and hit the bell notification if you like man's content or any of my content you can also hit me up on the social twitter instagram and twitch jay's gamepad across the board you ain't got to tap tap press anything else but that and also if you want to find me or hit me up on playstation my gamer name is mr ghost protocol so i guess i will see you and speak to you real soon